Hello and welcome back to yet another video by Implant Engineering. In this video, we shall learn about codes and standards that are used in a piping industry. One of the characteristic aspect of a piping system is the proper selection of material of construction along with its specification. Standardization helps in the reduction of cost, confusion and inconvenience. These are published by professional societies, committees and trade organizations across the globe. Codes and standards are also accept accepted by governments. The main objective is to have standardization and safety. So let us begin by understanding what is a code. Codes are a general rule or systematic procedures for designing, fabrication, installation and inspection methods established in such a manner that code can be adopted by legal jurisdiction and made into a law. These codes vary differently in different countries. Standards The uniformity throughout the globe required the documents which give the size of the components are known as the standards. The dimensional errors which occur are due to failure in the implementation of such codes and standards during designing and fabrications. Apart from these codes and standards, there, there is one another thing called the recommended practices. Documents that are composed by a professional group or com committee indicating good practice sets are known as the recommended practices. These recommended practices are optional. They are not mandatory. Few companies also developed their own guides in order to have consistency in the documents. These cover various engineering methods which are considered as good practices without any specific requirement. Codes and standards, besides being regulations, might also be considered as design aids since they provide guidance from experts. The piping codes conceive the basic requirements for designing, such as allowable stresses and stress limits, allowable dead loads and their limits, allowable live loads and their limits, materials for selection, minimum wall thickness that is required for the efficiency of successful plant run, maximum deflection that may occur due to different loads acting on the pipes, seismic loads, these are the loads caused due to an earthquake, and the last but not the least is the thermal expansion. Thermal expansion is nothing but the expansion due to change in temperature. One of the most important code that is followed across the globe is the American Society of Mechanical Engineers or the ASME. The ASME is an American professional association which produces professional development, codes and standards, research, conferences and publications, government relations and other such forms of outreach. Here are few codes that comes under the ASME which have been popularly used in the piping industries beginning with ASME B31.1 that is used for power piping. Power piping is nothing but the piping that is installed at any power plants. ASME B31.2 this indicates the fuel, fuel gas transportation. ASME B31.3 this helps in piping system designing which is used in process industries such as, such as refineries, pharmaceuticals, 
ASME B31.3. This indicates the piping systems that is used for designing in process industries such as refineries, pharmaceutical companies and chemical industries. The next, next one is ASME B31.4. This indicates the pipeline transportation for liquid hydrocarbons. ASME B31.5 which is used for refrigeration piping. ASME B31.5. This indicates the refrigeration piping or the piping used below the zero temperature. ASME B31.8. This indicates the pipeline construction designing for gas hydrocarbon transportations. ASME B31.9 which is used for building services. ASME B31.11 used for slurry transportation. ASME B31.11G This one is used to determine the remaining life of corroded pipe. The next thing is design standards. Design standards provides specific design criteria and rules. The dimensional standards provide configurational control parameters for components. Pressure integrity standards provide uniform minimum performance criteria. These standards promote the interchangeability from different suppliers for similar components. Here are few ASME standards. The very first one are flange standards. ASME B16.1 which indicates the cast iron flanges. Then there is ASME B16.42 which is used for the designing and construction of design ductile iron flanges. ASME B16.5 used for the designing and construction of steel flanges up to 24 inches diameter. ASME B16.47 which is used for the designing and construction of steel flanges above 24 inches diameter. The next type of standards are the pipe standards. ASME B36.10 used for carbon or alloy or wrought steel pipes. ASME B36.19 which is used for stainless steel pipes. Gasket standards. ASME B16.20 used for metallic gaskets. ASME B16.21 used for non-metallic gaskets. Last, we, lastly, we have fitting standards. ASME B16.9 which is used for butt welded fittings and ASME B16.11 used for the forged fittings, socket welded and threaded fittings. The next type of standards are the American Petroleum Institute. The name itself defines that this type of standards are particularly used in petroleum industries. Here are few API standards. API 593 ductile iron plug valves, API 600 steel gate valves and so on and so forth. Some of the other standards includes American Welding Society or AWS and American Waterworks Association or AWWA. AW, AWS or the American Welding Society provides information on the welding fundamentals, weld design, welder training, qualification, testing and inspection of welds. Whereas the American Waterworks Association refers to the piping elements required for low pressure water services. Here are few AWWA standards such as C500 used for gate valves for water and sewage systems, 
C504 for rubber seated butter wax and so on and so forth. Another American standard here is MSSSP, Manufacturers Standardization Society Standard Practices. This type of standard is particularly used for the designing, construction, inspection and testing of valves and fittings. Some of the most popularly used MSSSP standards are MSSSP 25, Standard Marking System for Valves, Fittings and Flanges, MSSSP 42, Class 150 Corrosion Resistant Gate, Globe and Check Valves and so on and so far. Another standard which is used are the British standards. In many instant instances, it is possible to find a British standard which may be substituents for American standards such as BS10 used for flanges, BS1414 used for gate valves for petroleum industries and so on and so forth. Another type of standards are the Indian standards or Bureau of Indian, Indian Standards BIS. BIS has so far not developed an Indian standard for the designing of piping system. Hence, ANSI standards or ASME standards are used for the design. Unlike the American standards or British standards, Indian standards cover dimensions and material specifications under the same standard number. There are no particular groupings based upon branch of engineering. Some of the commonly referred Indian standards are IS5312 specification for check valves, IS5312 specification for check valves, so on and so far. Some of the other international standards that are used are JIES, Japanese Institute of Standards, which is found in Japan, DIN standards, which are popular and equal and are used in Germany. Periodic review of these standards by the committee are done based on the research and feedback from different industries. It is hence necessary that the latest additions of the codes and standards are referred for the design. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel Implant Engineering. Do click on the bell icon for more such updates.